Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So um, today we are going out on our first trip in the caravan and I'm not going to lie, I'm very nervous because there's a lot of things to um, do. First job is to hook it up to the car. Um, luckily it's got a motor mover so I should, I've, I've put my car over there and I'm going to move the caravan over to it. Um, firstly I've got take up the side bits the, I don't know what they're even called that's how much of a caravaner I am that's the motor mover so it moves it for you um, got to take the hitch lock off and then pull up the jockey wheel take the handbrake off hopefully it doesn't roll away by itself mm, yeah that's a point yeah it might roll away by itself um, so that means I'll have to put the motor mover in, in place so it holds onto the wheels and then it won't roll away. Right, okay, let's get started. Guys, Mum's just going to start moving the caravan um, so we can attach it. So I'll show you guys. Is that off? Yeah, that's off. Oh no, I think that's... I don't know. You hold that a minute, we'll see. <laughs> so I'm moving this, I've moved it back. So I think it's off. It's not. Let me try and do the motor over now. If it won't move, then the handbrake's on, so... When you're in a car, is that usually like when it's on or off? It must be on. <laughs> oh my god! Right, can, can I try? Because I managed to get it on last time. So maybe. Pretty stressed already, guys. So I do. Have you got it on? Right, managed to get it on. So guys, we've got here. Um, it was an experience. I kept thinking that I'd not hooked it on properly and it was going to unhook the entire Yeah. It was quite stressful. Anyway, it's a nice countryside setting I'll show you. Um, there's a really cute fall down there. You can't see it at the moment. It's like... Ellen thinks it's only like a couple of weeks old. But guys, we've got a bit of a dilemma. No, we haven't got a dilemma, it was your fault. Yeah, I know it's my fault. Yeah, just, just, just to so, put it out there. I tried to book this caravan site through the caravan club. Well, not particularly this one. I was just looking for anywhere that had vacancies. So I emailed loads. Um, this one got back to us and said they'd had cancellation. So I said we'd book it. This was yesterday. Um, me, in my stupidity, just assumed it would have a toilet at least. It doesn't have a toilet, guys. It doesn't have a toilet. I thought they all had toilets. So we have got well, a chemical toilet. Which is supposed to be for emergency use only. You know, like in the night if you need the toilet or something. So you don't have to trek out. But oh, it's so hot as well. It's 31 degrees. I've not got off to a very good start here at all. I've just been for a little walk with the dogs and the panting. It's just too hot for them. So I'm contemplating going back home. Um, not sure what to do, are we, Eleanor? We've just had something to eat. Ellen is not impressed with me right now. No, I've not. I've not got angry at you. It's no, she hasn't got angry with me. But it's just if you would have a bit said disappointing. to me before, and that's, if you would have said to me and said and been like, "Oh, I haven't checked if there's toilets," I would have told you that you, if it doesn't say they have toilets, they won't have toilets. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. 
<laughs> it can only happen to us, Eleanor. Yeah, it can only happen to me. If I would have booked it, then this wouldn't have happened. I would have seen and I would have looked. Yeah. My mum will be laughing her head off right now. She won't. She'll be like, oh, Rachel, I can't believe it. Yeah. My mum is so super organised. No, she'll be like, oh, Bryn, do you know what Rachel's gone and done? She's gone and booked a campsite and she didn't check if they had toilets and guess what they don't have toilets <laughs> what do you think Milo? Mm -hmm. hey what do you think con are we unpacking or are we going home look at mabel <clears throat> mabel's collapsed next to the water bowl we didn't have them out for long yeah, it's just too hot so that's it's kind of the problem as well the issue is the um, it's too hot to take the dogs out. I think we're gonna have to go back home, no, do you? No. No. Uh, doing the electric, just... hooking the electric from the caravan to the car. Loud? No, I'm just explaining to our oh, unique really, fan. No, no, I mean, I Kneeling I on the uh, red hot That's why tarmac. I'm gonna go home because it took us about an hour to set yeah, up, it... and I'm not gonna do that again. I'm sorry. It's not. Ha it's either we. It's either we stay or we go. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> So guys, we decided to stay. It's morning now. Look at this little horse. Eh? He's got a little fall. You can't see it. He's hiding behind his. Please oh, stop it. Hiding behind his mummy. He's so cute. Look. Oh, he's so cute. He's tiny. Stop it, you. Okay, guys, so we're ready to leave now. <sighs> How long has it taken to pack up, do you think? Oh, that long, cause yeah. Mum did the toilet and I did like, the roof. Yeah, actually, we need to move that motor mover so it's not on the wheel, don't we? We forgot that. Yeah. So we better do that, put it in the van. So that was a bit easier to get all that, that done today. Yeah. I've locked that... it. Hi guys, so we got back from the caravan site a couple of days ago. We came home um, on Sunday, quite early to be honest, because it was just too hot, wasn't it, Millie? Mm. Wasn't it, Mabel? And we knew we wouldn't be able to do anything with the little doggies. Um. To be honest, oh God, I was shattered the day after. All that moving and lifting. We tried to put up the awning on the Saturday because Eleanor really wanted to put it up. Absolutely boiling. Uh, this guy came over to ask if we needed any help, poor guy. And I said, well, yes, please, but we've never put this up before, so we don't really know what we're doing. Um, so we tried. You have to, like, thread it on top onto the side of the caravan. There's, like, a groove. And it was just so heavy this awning, we, we couldn't do it at all, even with the guy helping us. Um, so we ended up then having to pack it all back up, which was is not easy either, trying to put it back into a bag. He also told us um, how to do the chemical toilet, which was good. We had kind of worked it out ourselves, but that was good to know. Um, he gave us some other uh, help with level in the caravan because we'd not done it and he said oh you look like you're a bit up at one side so he brought his spirit level over and um, we got it all leveled off so I, I now know how to kind of get this caravan straight so we're not like tipping over just need to buy like a cheap um, spirit level and I was I've got to admit I was a bit disheartened coming back um, it wasn't quite as I'd envisaged it was it was a lot of hard work but i think a lot of that was down to the fact it was so hot um i don't know what it was like where you were but i'm not good in the heat anyway but i was just absolutely melting um and because we couldn't have the awning up that meant the dogs were in with us all night um so we we were cramped up with the dogs 
Um, and all in all, it wasn't a great experience. And I even thought about putting the caravan on for sale. <laughs> Uh, which you might think is a bit daft, but I thought, oh, I don't think this is for me. But I've had a bit of, I've had a rethink and thought, well, we'll give it another go. Uh, we're going to know what we're doing a bit better this time. Um, it didn't take as long to hook things up because you've got to get an electric cable that goes from your car to the caravan, and it was an absolute pain in the neck to connect it. But now, touch wood, touch Millie. I it was a lot easier because I, I knew I was kind of turning the whole thing whereas you kind of get a lever a little I, you can't really describe it but I think I've cracked I've got the knack of it now anyway so that won't be as hard to do because you've got to like kneel on the floor um, to do it all so that was a right bind but we'll give it another go we'll see how it goes and we will attempt to get the awning up but that's the thing that I'm absolutely dreading. We tried to watch a video on, on YouTube of this same awning, a guy putting putting the awning up. But the whole video was more of him talking to his wife on the way there. And then when he, he got to putting the awning on it, he kind of skipped past it. So we need to find a better video to, to watch. Um, it's, it is an air one, but apparently that makes them really heavy. So you've got a pump to pump it up. The first thing you're supposed to do is to slot it onto this thing, and it's so heavy. Um, so pulling it up, a whole awning, to try and slot it on. I'm wondering if there's a better way. I'm wondering if whether you can, like, pump it up. What do you think, Mabel? Do you think we'll pump it up next time? Hmm. Poor doggies have not been going for walks either because it's too hot, but... I've seen some awful things on Facebook of dogs' pads all split open, so we don't want to be risking that. So I'm sure you'll survive, won't you, Mabel, without a walk, okay? She's a little mischief maker, this one. All sorts of stuff she's been chewing, haven't you? Mm. She grabs things out of the bathroom and brings it downstairs. And then you come down and it's just in bits everywhere boxes all sorts don't you you can't stay mad at her for long she's too cute anyway that's about enough of me waffling on hey mabel um lucas is coming tomorrow and chloe and little mia and they're staying with us which is going to be so good so we'll get to see little mia have lots of cuddles um just got to try and keep all the pets away from her a little bit we wouldn't do anything to harm her but um, obviously she's only two months old so we've got to be careful um, so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos and press the notification bell and so you will get notified I get a lot of people saying they didn't know we put videos up so hopefully you will get the notifications if you press the bell. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video guys. Bye! Maple.